good morning just so you know a lot of the videos i make i try to make them in a scientifically objective manner now obviously i'm not very professional however i do try to de-emotionalize enough just so you can get the point out and then be open to discussion now this happens all the time where i get comments where people say you're rude you're mean you're racist, you're gay, you're a drug addict, you're a misogynist, you're a leprechaun, you're a bully, you're a Neanderthal, you got bad hair, your dog's ugly, um, you're black, you're a Jew, you're a Nazi, you're a um, left-wing communist, you're a woman. Um, so the thing is, just because I discuss topics doesn't mean I endorse them. I'm just trying to figure things out here. And that means sometimes touching touchy subjects. Not everything can be football, beer and cars. Some conversations are going to be slightly triggering. However, you have to be willing to discuss triggering subjects in the pursuit of the closest thing to truth and not to take things personally. There's a difference between stating the facts and then your opinion about it. They're supposed to be separate entities. I mean, you just come into someone's video and say, I don't like you, you're stupid, or you're mean. That's just how you feel about it. But you're not stating what the specifics are that you have a situation with, or you have that you don't agree with. And what it does, it actually strengthens my argument. When you just come at me with hurling insults, you're strengthening my position. If you actually didn't like me, the best thing to do is to try and have the closest thing to an academic conversation. And that means trying to use so-called facts, the closest thing we can get to it, and then how you feel about a situation. So you, you label the data and then you give your position on the data. Don't just give your position on the data. Have a good day.